What up? I just got done. Um, it's been a busy couple days there. I just got done. Uh, need to slow down. Set my cruise control. Um, sorry. I uh. Just got done reading the uh, comments from that last video I put up. A lot of good advice in there. Appreciate it. Is what it is. Seen your video. Maybe you have another one as well, I think. I need to go back and watch that one. But I just want to say thank you for all the advice. Um, Wine Me Mid Pinterest. So that's a good spot for foods health friendly foods. I didn't even think about Pinterest honestly, see? And that's what I'm saying. That's why I'd rather have communicative interaction between people, not machines. Um, Annie just said she likes it a lot. Yeah, ooh, look at that Cardinals. Oh, shit! Almost hit one. Like, hey, look. Ooh, look, a cardinal. Bam! Almost hit one of them. Man and wife. Almost widowed one of them. Oh. Anyway. She's talking about the sweater I just bought. It just says Marquette on it. Nothing fancy. But I needed a sweater because I got to do a lot of bids and, like, meet with clients, right? And I'm wearing, like, I'm wearing like a work hoodie. So I needed something a little nicer. So I stopped at a uh, little local store real quick called Loyal Tees. Not Loyal Tees, but Loyal Tees. And it's like a custom screen printing shop, right? And look what they gave me, man. These dudes. The dude gave me a couple stickers. Look at what one of them says. You don't need a reason to help people. Loyal Tees. So, I thought that was pretty cool. They only charged me 30 bucks, and they printed it right there for me. I was like, gangster. So, anyway. Um, man, I tell you what, I can't even lie. My arms are still sore. I got to work out tonight. I didn't work out yesterday either. I had to work again last night, kind of late. So... Um, we'll work out again tonight and try to work away some of that stiffness and soreness because it's been a while since I worked out, you know, you work, I, I mentioned in my last video, I've always been like super inconsistent in my, in my working out. I'll go hard and then I'll just drop off and then I'll go hard and I'll drop off. But man, because when I go hard, it's so easy for me to pick it up back up and go hard again that I just have that mind, uh, uh, I just had the mentality that, like, you know, I could just pick it up whenever I want and go hard right off the rip, but I can't. I'm getting older. So, when I'm like, all right, today's the day, breaking the cycle, and I hit the fucking ground, start working out. It takes a little toll on me. Maybe I should have went so hard. Like I said, I went until I couldn't even pick up the, the damn 20 pound ball anymore. So, what else I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, and you know what, man? He said it perfect. He goes, I don't work to be a, to be a power lifter, I work to be a machine. Man, that ain't more them words right there in that moment. Sorry, it's bounced around so much. Hit me, bro. Same thing, dude. I'm a machine, bro. Who the fuck sleeps? Feels like I don't sometimes. <clears throat> but uh, one thing I would like to incorporate also is uh, I want a bench and a pair of dumbbells. And I was talking to my one of my bosses. So, like, as you all know, the ownership of my company is split between siblings. The younger brother, is uh, he works out. I don't know if you call him a power lifter or what, but the dude works out. The dude's 45, 
this year's old, and he's in better shape than like most people that are half his age. Um, the dude's cut. The dude's also on roids. Uh, the dude knows his nutrition, and he knows his workouts. He's been doing this a long time. He was a PJ in the Air Force, the dude, Special Forces. He knows his shit, all right? I was talking to him this morning and said, I want to incorporate just a bench and some dumbbells. I think that's all I need. If I have a bench, some dumbbells, and like a workout ball, then I got everything I need. And he's like, well, that's where it starts. But, you know, then I, he's like, I ended up getting a bar and a fucking Bowflex. And he's like, in a pull-up bar and all this shit. Well, I got a pull-up bar, too. It's one of those ones that fit in the door jam. And you just crank them out. I could do, like I said, I, I work on those. Uh, I really want to do just like straight, bam, 90-degree pull-ups. I want to be able to crank out like 50 of them. I'll get there. But now it's a slow process of getting back into it. I got to get back into it. Man, my arms are sore. My triceps are super sore. But I'm getting a lot of advice from a lot of different angles, and a lot of it contradicts the other. So I'm not sure. It's all fucky, you know. I got another dude that works for me, and he's, like, going to the gym all the time. He's really trying to, like, bulk up, and, like, and he's, like, been working out for months and months. And he just doesn't, he's not, he's not showing results yet. And he's like starting to lose a little bit of motivation. He wants me to go to the gym with him and all this shit. But he's telling me contradictive shit to what my boss is telling me, right? He's telling me I need to eat a pound of meat every morning for like two months straight. A pound of meat, that's a lot. My boss says that's crazy, six to eight ounces. He's like, you see what I eat every morning for breakfast? Yeah, he eats two hard-boiled eggs for breakfast every morning, which makes more sense to me because the brain runs on good cholesterol, right? So what better way to ha- like to give your body and especially your brain a healthy start in the morning than to flood it with good cholesterol from two hard-boiled eggs? And then he said, after that, every two hours, eat a meal. Don't eat a snack. Eat a meal every two hours. Fruits, veggies, it doesn't matter what it is. Fucking eat it. He goes, it does matter what it is, but just make sure you eat enough of it every two hours. That's how you're going to bulk. And for me, my metabolism is just too much. Like, truly, my metabolism is too much. I told you guys I was going to Border Grill the other day, so this is what my burrito consisted of, okay? Extra rice, extra black beans, extra spinach, extra guacamole. Uh, I think I got chicken. As my like my, my main my meat protein, and uh, there may be some corn in there. I don't fucking know. I don't like. I'm not a big corn person. Um, I you know I look at corn as like a filler, like the pink shit in meat. And maybe I shouldn't look at it like that. Man, my buddy before he passed away, he used to always give me shit about that. But uh, anyway, so I ate all that, right? I went to bed. I woke up, and it all came back out the other end. First thing in the morning. Like, first thing in the morning. That fucking food was was only inside my body while I was sleeping. It had already passed through me. Now, one person said that's because everything you just mentioned, your body breaks into carbs. Okay, and your body is fucking annihilating carbs. Your body is just tuned to just destroy carbs immediately. So I got to stop eating foods. I don't know. There's a lot to this. This is a lot of change for me, right? There's a lot of change for me. Not eating sweets anymore, but I am. I picked up a German chocolate cake yesterday. It's for my birthday. It came late. That dude had was like a week behind on cakes. He had to make it for me. It was a beautiful, beautiful cake. It tastes so good. But yeah, anyway, thanks for everything. I'm on my way to a place called Houghton. Houghton. It's a couple hours away. 
Just got to do a quick bid. I'm going to drive four hours round trip for about 10 minutes of work. I'll take it. Um, that's about it, man. So I did make a workout video too, uh, but I'm not going to post it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Hold on, y'all know what these are, man? These are fire. Non-nicotine. Um, so, it's still cold out, right? I ain't spoiled like old boy over there who's got beautiful little mountain views and it's like 75 degrees and the sun's shining on them. He's just cranking out burpees. Bro, I'm gonna give you my email address or something in the in the comments. Email me. Um, Cause I don't even know your name, bro. Bro, hey, bro. Maybe I do. I said that once before to um, you be prepared lifestyle. I called him out saying something. I was like, I don't even know your name. And I do know his name. And I feel like a dumbass. And I feel like an asshole. Uh, because we already had an interaction, a couple interactions. And so, my bad, man. Still, you're more than welcome to come by, bro. Pay enough, if you pay close enough attention to my videos. You figure it out where I live by now. Because that's how I am. I'll be finding, I'll be finding shit out about people. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, we got some time. Let's uh, let's find out where this dude lives. And if I can do it. Weirdos can do it. You know what I'm saying? That's where shit gets weird. Anyway, uh, it's cold here. You know, what's the temperature right now? Well, 37 degrees. But it's about to drop. It's supposed to get some. We got a winter weather advisory coming back in this weekend. So, my house is like. We got kids running around, and fucking dogs running around, and cats running around. So I went in my garage to make a workout video, which I did. It's like cluttered, super cluttered in there. I got all my stuff in there. I got my brother's stuff in there. I got all the stuff that's normally outside in the summertime in there. Um, but maybe I'll work on getting a little space clear. And, uh do a workout video in there later tonight so maybe not though because I'm still super sore maybe I should give myself like one or two or three workouts so I don't embarrass myself but you know it also would be cool to just be humble and not give a fuck and do it anyway right so then I can look back on what I've documented the start again um, it's like a lot of people do you know and there's no better motive. Mo, there's not a better mo motivator than to go look back at a documented start where you first began to where you are now. Um, I think that's a huge motivator all in itself. So, anyway, uh, thanks again. Oh yeah, something else I wanted to do. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave a uh, thing, uh, a link for this. So. A lot of you know who probably already know who Sean the Sean Ryan show is and like Vigilance Elite. So he interviews a lot of people. He just interviewed a dude named Chris Beck. Okay. They just dropped it on Monday. I'm still watching it. I got like two hours left, two and a half hours left, maybe two hours left. This is like this is a six and a half hour interview, okay? 
six and a half hours, which is long. His interviews are already long. This is long in comparison. And this dude, Chris Beck, he's the dude, he's the Navy SEAL that transgendered himself into a male and then went back into a male, all right? Now, you will probably have a lot of initial thoughts and judgment about this. This dude is like, man, this dude has taught me so much in such a short period of time. You can learn so much from such little information. And this dude has a shit ton of information. This dude just got so much cooler. He said we faked the moon landing without saying it. Okay. This is somebody who has had like top secret security clearances throughout all sorts of different agencies in our government. And the way he said we faked the moon landing was fucking priceless. I loved it. He also may have suggested that we were our own reason, or we were the reason and cause. Like, we already know all this shit, right? But it's funny to hear somebody like this say it. And, and it's funny to hear the way he does say it, right? Because you could probably get in trouble. Like, again, he knows a lot of classified shit. So he has a good way of saying stuff without saying it. By implying theoretical situations. Like Nord Stream 2 and the blackout on the eastern seaboard. So, good stuff. Anyway... Um, I would highly encourage anybody to watch it. Now, again, I understand it's six and a half hours long. That's a long time. So, again, what's today? Thursday, and I still got like two and a half hours left. So, I've been watching it since it dropped. I was waiting for it to drop. Matter of fact, I went to watch it Monday morning, and Sean Ryan didn't upload it until like noon. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? He said Monday, right? The 6th. And I'm like, it's Monday the 6th. And I'm like waiting for it. So, go check that out. Super cool, super, super cool. Um, tons of info about all types of stuff. Is what it is. Told me I should get on some honey or mentioned that if I'm not already that I should get on it. Bro, I tell you what, we are a honey family. Man, my older brother gets honey by the five gallon jug, dude, by the five gallon bucket. I don't, I don't know, you know, it's, it's, also, it's also kind of surprising to me that he doesn't have his own apiary yet, because he has everything else. Matter of fact, speaking of him, something killed all of his rabbits through the night, through last night. Every single one of them. He doesn't have a single caged rabbit left. Because he has caged rabbits, and then he did like his own little domesticated free-range rabbit experiment on his property... And so now he has like wild, um, I don't know what the hell you call them, herds of rabbit that live within the property, but they're just like free range. They do, they'll run right, they'll walk right up to you. I, they walk right up to you. You just had them. It's super cool. And then we kill them and eat them. That's also super cool. Where are we at? I still got an hour left. So, but he sent me a video. And literally, the cage, one of the pins were busted open. Rabbits were dead inside it. Rabbits were dead underneath it. There was a line of dead rabbits through the woods, laying on top of the snow. No blood. What the fuck? I was thinking weasel at first, because of the no blood situation. And weasels are like vampires. But, he said it's bigger than that. Dragging its feet some. So it's probably a fisher. That would be the next guess. A fisher. But it was just like weird. It was like horror movie weird. You know? Just like alien fucking abduction weird. The fucking... The, it was a weird video. A 
I'll, I'll upload that too. Matter of fact, I'll upload that as a short. You know, I'll just title it Something Got the Rabbits. And you'll see what I mean. It's strange. But it's only a seven second video. And um, I'm not sure how many rabbits he had pinned. But he had certain rabbits pinned for a specific reason. You know, he didn't domestic, he didn't free range these ones. These were like breeder rabbits and shit like that. They're fucked. All of them. Sucks. So, but he should get he should get an apiary. But we got honey, bro. Anyway, we got honey, man. There's so many honey farms in the UP, dude. That are local. So many, dude. You can't count them. But Annie's coworker has an ap an apiary. And I don't know if you call it, we call them apiaries or apiary. I think it's an apiary, which is just a bee farm. Okay, so. A honey farm so um and that person's parents also have an apiary and um if you guys are familiar with beans blades or if you remember um free range slave uh i've sent him jars of honey from these farms from both of them actually and he loves it of course it's better to consume honey from your own local area. Um, but nonetheless, honey in itself is still good for you, no matter where it's from. But, uh, yeah. Love honey. Matter of fact, that Chris dude mentions honey and cinnamon as a uh, as an energy drink. He says you can add other stuff to it. All these different tinctures that he makes. That dude's an incredibly smart person. Um, but that's about it, guys. We got frozen water. Nobody ice fishing on it. Oh, yeah. You see all them dots down there now? Shit. I don't know if you can see them. But uh, that's about it. 22 minutes in. That's all I got. Um, I hope everybody has a blessed day. Keep educating yourself, keep preparing yourself, keep strengthening yourself. And on that note, I'm going to talk to you guys later. I love you all. Peace.